Assembly of your Rock 400mm Model 50237 chainsaw. Purchasing the item from your store will come in a sealed carton as we've got here. The contents of the box that comes in is of course your chain cover, bag of tools, chain guide bar, most importantly instruction manual, your chain, two stroke mixing bottle, the drive unit and the spike plate. Before attempting to assemble the bar, remove and safely discard the plastic packaging. Engage the safety brake mechanism, which is by pulling that lever to, towards the back of the machine and removing the outer chain cover. With your T socket wrench, remove the outer bar and chain cover. Putting aside in a safe location the two lock nuts. Cover comes, comes off. And also this plastic plate, which is a packing piece only and needs to be and needs to be totally discarded. Do not use it at all. Assemble first the timber spike plate onto the front of the machine. Your Allen key wrench, hex key wrench. Make sure the spikes are pointing upwards towards the top of the machine. They will grip into the material you are going to cut. The two-stroke mixture for the chainsaw is unleaded petrol with a mix of uh, two-stroke oil of 25 to 1. There are calibrations on the side of the bottle which will tell you exactly how much fuel and oil to mix. Do the spike plate up reasonably tight, don't over tighten, it's quite sufficient. To mount, the, to mount your chain, carefully take it out of the pack and the teeth of the chain just slides behind the sprocket clutch cup and the teeth on the top run will face away from you from the from the from the machine and run towards the machine on the lower part of the guide. Mount the guide bar being careful at all times, putting the drive into the guide bar slots. The adjusting pin on the cover there lines up with 
either, either one of the two rear holes of the guide bar. Putting the cover on. Just finger tight the two locking nuts. And adjust with your T-wrench. Turning the adjusting screw in a clockwise direction. Which will take the slack out of the chain on the guide bar. Sure, the chain moves freely and that there is approximately a six millimeter you can pull the chain to approximately no more than six millimeters from the guide bar if it's a bit more just adjust it up a bit further remembering once you start the chainsaw the chain will expand and you will have to readjust slightly the adjustment, the slack of the uh, chain itself. When you've got it there, screw both lock nuts up. You're now ready to fuel the chainsaw. In the front reservoir here goes your chain oil, which is approximately a 15 grade to a 20 grade oil. Fill that to the top. Finger tight the cap, don't over tighten it. Your two stroke fuel, already mixed, goes into the rear tank. Again, when you put the cap back on, finger tight, don't over tighten it, you'll possibly expand the O-ring causing it to leak. In starting the chainsaw, ensure the safety brake mechanism lever is disengaged. Just what that is, if you're in using your chainsaw, if the chain kicks back, that mechanism will snap forward, stopping the chain rotating instantly. It is a safety measure. So just pull that lever back towards the handle. Switch the on-off switch to the eye position, which is on. Pull the choke out, choke lever. Take the slack out of the starter cord, which should only be approximately 25 mil, which it is and it will have what we call a rolling start. Pull the handle twice, push the choke back in, the unit is now primed and ready to go. Maintaining the switch in the on position, take the slack out of the starter cord again and pull it two or three times and the chainsaw will start straight away. If you find the oil spraying onto the chain bar is quite excessive. There is an adjustment below underneath the chainsaw where through this screw here you can either increase or decrease the flow of oil. You can increase the flow by turning it clockwise, uh, anti-clockwise or decrease the flow You increase the flow by turning it anti-clockwise or decrease the flow by turning it clockwise. There is a marking on the base of the chainsaw which gives that instruction. In conclusion, don't forget your protective gear, particularly goggles for your eyes, a face mask and also earplugs and also 
gloves, which are uh, an essential to make sure that to give you a safe, secure grip on the machine. After you've finished using it, empty the oil and fuel out of the machine with your safety cover. Insert that onto the guard. Ensure the brake is engaged by pushing that lever forward. You can now store your product safely away until using it next time.